I know it's been a while since I was in Japan and since I've posted about it, but I want to take some time and finish these videos. If you haven't seen my others, please check out my playlist, Lovely Japan. While staying in Osaka, we took a train to Nara and visited Chris's friend Tomoko. Upon arrival, Tomoko treated us to feed for the deer, then stood back as we were attacked. We fed some deer and they all kind of attacked us and like there's some spit stains on my dress because they were all biting me. It's a bit more fun to pat them than to feed them. This, by the way, is not inside a petting zoo. Deer roam the streets and parks around Nara. People there and the deer have an unspoken understanding of where to be and how to behave. Lots of tourists come to see the deer so they're used to being pet and fed, but they will push you around. They definitely know who's from around here and who isn't. Since our first attempt to feed them happened all so fast, we decided to try again. Are you afraid, Laura? I'm very scared. <laughs> very nervous. I don't blame you. So the last time we fed these deer, they attacked us as soon as we went up to the ladies to buy rice crackers. They bit my bum. They bit Laura's bum, my they legs. bit Joe in the bum and in the front. They did they bite you, Tomoko? Yeah. Okay, uh, they bit me in the butt too. I'm gonna go. Okay, go. Oh, oh. oh they're watching. Oh, uh oh. Here they come. Where'd you put them, Laura? You can do it. Oh. Oh, she helped. <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> They're ready. <laughs> Unfortunately, Laura's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. Yeah, they were okay. Maybe this side. There's more room too. Yeah. When we did it before, there was no space to run. <laughs> they, and so sometimes you can also bow, and they'll bow back. But I think it's usually when you have food. Now it's Chris's turn yeah. to brave the deer. The last time we'll ever see Chris alive. <laughs> In one piece. In one piece. <laughs> They're distracted. He's being sneaky about it. They haven't caught on yet. <laughs> have to hide them. You want to find a sleepy one? <laughs> Just one for you. Sorry. This one wants them to. No, you get your turn. Yeah. Uh oh, they're catching on! Now it's Joe's turn. Let's see his strategy. Oh, oh geez, son. Deer is already on to him. Grandpa Deer is on to him. Did he bite you? A little bit. <laughs> oh, you hit me with. <laughs> Then we visited Todaiji Temple, which is the world's largest wooden building. Even though it was reconstructed in 1692 and is only two thirds of the original temple's size, it's still the largest. And it features Japan's largest bronze statue of Buddha, standing 15 meters tall. We took a break at this beautiful temple to play Pokemon Go. So, see how many. It's too dark. Did I catch them? Oh look, look how many candy I have. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we explored more of Nara, which was so wonderful and peaceful. It was a nice way to wind down after the chaos of Tokyo.
We visited this really interesting historical Japanese house. We're in a very traditional old house in Nara, and it's very cool. And the ceilings are very low, but they fit me perfectly. <gasps> so cool. This house was like something out of a film. It was really amazing to see, and there was a lovely courtyard and gardens. Visiting Nara was a different pace than the rest of our trip. It was calm and beautiful. I think everyone should visit. Stay tuned for my next Japan video where I'll show you what it's like to sleep over at an arcade in a manga cafe. Stay lovely!